If your visa was issued in Sharjah, you will head over to the Sharjah Immigration Office. If it was issued in Dubai, you will head over to Immigration in Dubai and Abu Dhabi and the rest of the Emirates. The process is very transparent and there are no brokers involved. You have to do it yourself. The requirements that you will need depending on the kind of depending on your instance the kind of requirements you will need is you will need a copy of your valid passport the original copy and of course a photocopy you will need the, a copy of the visa the visa that has that almost a petition letter from your sponsor if you are under sponsorship or if you have an employment visa you will need a petition letter from your company including the establishment id and also the lies. If you are a visitor and you have a visitor visa, you will need a copy of a petition letter from the tourist or from the travel agent that you use so that you can apply and the process will be done very smoothly. Next important, next thing, if your fine is less than 3,000, most importantly, you will have to pay that money because as we all know, fines is one source of government revenue so the other question is if i have an abscond will my fines be taken away if you have absconding you will have to apply for withdrawal of absconding before you can apply for the service or for this offer the next question is if i don't have an original passport what can i do if you have the, if you do not have an original passport most likely, if you run away from your sponsor, you will need to get back to them and get back your passport. Or your passport, then you may have to go through the rightful procedures of how to apply for a new passport. In the description, I will leave a link on how you can do that. In the description also, I will leave a link on how you can find your immigration office and the location where it is. For those of you who may want to exit the country, still you will need to apply for an exit pass or an exit permit or a pass out. I would advise you to head straight to the immigration office and inquire on how you may apply for the exit permit. The next point to note is that some of the requirements will, will differ depending on the immigration. That is why I advised you that if you want to know then first head over to the email many people keep also asking if i apply and the service is being granted will i get notification immediately the answer is it depends on the immigration where you have applied but in most cases you will get notified in about two days after the government has scrutinized your application. If you do not have any violations, chances are high that you will be granted this because we have seen testimonies, we have helped people through and some of them have been successfully granted and their overstay fines have been wiped. Other people also ask, if I head over to the immigration, will I be arrested? The answer is no. They arresting or arrest is being done by police it cannot be done by immigration even if you headed over to police and you have overstay fines or you have abscond you will not be arrested arresting comes at the request of either the court or if someone files a case against you so feel free to head over to the immigration you will not be arrested some people also ask if i apply for reduction and I apply for exit permit, will I be banned? The answer is no, you will not be banned from UAE. You may be banned for a few months if you have any other violations. With all that being said, I would like to end my video here. I kindly request you to subscribe to my channel. You will get to know a lot of information. I post every day unless I have so much work on my table, but I usually post every day. Kindly check back for a number of videos and make use of the description. You will be helped a great deal. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in and see you when you come back. Good luck. And